nearly two dozen different herbs and veggies here straight from the White House kitchen garden. And our great friend Katie Lee is going to make the most out of the bounty. Katie, nice to see you. How you Good doing? Good morning. Great. Summer wrapping up, and you're going to make one of my favorite dishes. I think it's good for any time of the year, but it can be really great for the summer yeah, dish. Yeah, I just love paella, and this is a spin on it. It's not a traditional paella. I'm not using saffron. This is a really easy one. It's great for leftovers. And also, you know when you go to the farmer's market and you buy all this stuff and you bring it home and you're like, what am I going to do with it now? Right. This, this is, is what you do, do with it. it. Let's take a look at the ingredient grid, the things that jump out of me. You've got two kinds of sausage here. Yes, yeah, sausage, chicken, but you could substitute shrimp if you wanted to or any kind of protein, really. Got some bacon. Bacon. We've got zucchini, squash, tomatoes, corn, scallions, herbs, all stuff that's really at its peak right now. All right, let's get so going. So first step is the meat. So I've got some chicken legs and some sausage in here. I'm using canola oil. Put okay. some pepper in there. Canola oil has a higher smoke point, so it's really good for the grill. And I'm using garlic salt just to give it more flavor. And you just kind of toss it around in there. Do you do that well in advance or can yeah, you do you it, can right do it right before you before. cook it? So, Matt, if you'll put that on the grill for me. Okay. And the chicken you should grill at a medium heat so that it doesn't dry out and the skin doesn't char before the rest of it. And it's going to cook for about 20 or 25 minutes until it registers 165. All right, I'll and be back with you in a second. Talk okay. about the vegetables. Same thing to the veggies. The zucchini, squash, and tomatoes. I just put that oil on there and some garlic, salt, and pepper. And these cook for a lot less time, you know, only a couple minutes. You want those tomatoes to get blistered and really yummy. Just don't want that to fall off. Go ahead. And the next step is the rice. And this is really the base of Can the Can I paella. stop you for a second? I love paella, <laughs> but I don't like paella when the rice is mushy. I like a crunch it's to be the rice. Crunchy. That's called the sokra, and that's the, the best part. So I'm using already cooked rice here and some corn off the cob, some green onions, and bacon. And the bacon's also going to help it crisp up because that's got that fat in there and it's going to give it a lot of flavor. You can even use leftover rice, you know, when you have all those containers yeah. from the Chinese takeout. This is a great way to use it. And I'm actually doing this in a cast iron skillet instead of a paella pan, so you don't have to have a special pan for this. You know what's amazing? We have our tasters over at the mm -hmm. table. They How began like eating this dish in our 7.30 half this hour. This crispy rice <laughs> thing we have going on is unbelievable. The two sausage, the chicken, so and good. the vegetables are perfect. Awesome. Okay. See, I want to know where Charlie is, though. Don't you think he would like some paella? Oh, he, he gets would, the leftovers. We're going to eat it all. There won't be any leftover. Right. By the way, I'm noticing so you're, you're pressing, pressing it down. I'm pressing it all the way in because you want that rice to have good contact with the bottom of the pan so that it does get crunchy. And you can put this right onto the grill at high heat for 20 to 25 minutes. It's not going to burn. That's how you're going to get the crunch. And then do you scrape so you can the go bottom? Ahead and scrape it. I'm going to add to it some sun dried tomatoes and some lemon zest. Oh, it's got, yeah, it's got that little crust Here, there. I'll hold That's it great. For you, man. Thank you. And then you're going to add some fresh herbs, a lot of fresh herbs, and lemon juice. And you can use whatever herbs you have. I'm using basil, cilantro, and parsley in this one. I'm making a little one bit of a I mess. One time I did lemon basil, and that tasted great. Okay. And then you add to it the proteins. So we've got our sausage and chicken that's already cooked. So you're putting the whole pieces of chicken there. You wouldn't take it off the bone? No, you don't have to take it off the bone. You can slice the sausage if you like. You know, I've done this with leftover ribs before, which is great. Shrimp is really good. You know, there's all kinds of things you can do with it. Now put some of that vegetable in here too. Okay. Guys, what's your favorite kind of paella? Do you, like you like seafood in it? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Seriously though. You like it? Good. Chicken. You nailed it. Yay! I love it when they like it. Seafood paella, you gotta peel the shrimp, you got the stuff going. This is easy. Take the clams out of the right. shell. Clams. Even the vegetables are good. It's all good. fantastic. <laughs> you know, whenever you put stuff on the grill, it just takes on such a good flavor. Yeah. And it, it's really easy. The cleanup is nothing then. You Did you know. try it, Matt? I'm yeah, going to come over there and try. Come on, there. Katie will walk over there to the tasting table. Uh -oh. oh, there isn't a dish for me. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Too bad. I'm going to take it right out of here. We got I need ours. a fork. Look at this. You got a big boy spoon there. There we go. Perfect. And all the crunchy rice. <laughs> yeah, get the crunchy rice. Oh, in that there. rice is so good. How great is that? Really good, right? You're right. You have to have the crunchy rice. Home it's, run. It's everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Best thing you've ever made. <laughs> you do it. That's right. right. Best ever good. Katie Lee. Rave reviews. Thank you very much. Have this Thank recipe you. emailed to you. Sign up for the Today Food newsletter. Will you marry me? Go to today.com <laughs> slash food or text hey food 6688.
1-800-242-5866. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.